Well, it is 6.53, time for my final thought. It was early this morning, I heard the sad news that Morgan Wooten had passed. If you grew up in this area like I did, then you knew he was a genius. Beginning his coaching career here at DeMatha in 1956, he immediately turned the Stags into a powerhouse. He, called, he was called the finest coach he had ever seen at any level, be it high school, college, or pro, by none other than John Wooden. He never had a losing season in the 46 years he was there, winning at least 20 games or more in all but one of his years. During that time, he won five national championships and in 2000 became one of only three high school coaches inducted into the Naismith Hall of Fame. Retiring in 2002, he finished with a record of 1,274 wins to just 192 losses. Just think about those numbers. It was while he was attending Montgomery Junior College, he began coaching at St. Joseph's Home for Boys. He couldn't have been much more than a boy himself, yet he handled the baseball, football, and basketball teams. It was after graduating from the University of Maryland that he went to work at DeMatha, teaching history while coaching both football and basketball. After a few years, he narrowed his focus to basketball, even though by that time he had already won three national championships. Coach Wooten and his stags became national news after they ended the 71-game winning streak of high school phenom Lou Alcindor's Power Memorial Academy. You might remember Lou by his later adopted name, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Although sought by many programs, including Duke, North Carolina State, and Georgetown, he turned them all down to stay in high school at DeMatha, sending more than 150 of his players into the college ranks, with at least a dozen of them making the jump to the pros, including Hall of Famer Adrian Dantley and Danny Ferry, who was part of his championship squad. He also had 20 former players join him in the coaching ranks, including current Notre Dame head coach Mike Bray and his youngest son, Joe Wooten, who's a successful coach right here in Arlington, Virginia. Despite the Redskins being our dominant franchise, we are in fact a basketball town on the high school and college level. Nobody had more to do with making it that way than Morgan Wooten. As a Prince George's native, I can't begin to tell you the pride I had growing up knowing there was a school in my county that could compete with anybody in the country. Along with Joe, he leaves behind four other biological children, 14 grandchildren, and the hundreds of children he helped shape through his coaching. And even though many of us could never hang on the court with the great DeMatha, he helped shape the incredible culture we all share. And for that, I say thank you, Coach Wooten.